In less than a week, Northland voters heading to the polls for a special election there. Representatives Lauren Arthur and Kevin Corlew, they face off for a seat in the Missouri Senate. Photo and Action News reporter Kat Reed takes us inside the final days of their campaigns and the money behind them. The Clay County Election Board is only expecting a 10 to 12 percent voter turnout for this special election, but that is not slowing the rate of money flowing into this race. The Senate showdown between two state representatives, Democrat Lauren Arthur and Republican Kevin Corlew, both campaigning on their connections to the Northland. I listen to the people back home, and when I'm in Jefferson City, I work on legislation that will hopefully make their lives better. I'll put the, the people over politics. I'll put the interest of the Northland over the interest of a party. To get their messages out, both candidates have been busy fundraising. Campaign finance filings show Arthur has raised about $360,000, while Corlew raised about $120,000. Much of that money ending up on TV. In ads targeting Corlew, the Arthur camp focuses on the soon-to-be former governor. Jefferson City is corrupt, and politicians like Eric Greitens and Kevin Corlew are the problem. In terms of my relationship with the governor, I was one of the first Republicans to call for the resignation of Governor Greitens. The Corlew campaign itself has not paid for negative ads against Arthur, but a pack called the Missouri Senate Campaign Committee is airing this attack, which references a recent murder in the Northland. An illegal immigrant confesses. Votes have consequences. Liberal Lauren Arthur says she's disgusted by those who don't share her political views. It's What's really dis dishonest. It's a lie. And aside from that, I think it is totally unacceptable that he would exploit a situation where someone was murdered for political gain. Corlew tells us he does not condone the ad and wouldn't use someone's death for political gain. This race isn't over yet. Both candidates have about $55,000 left in the bank. Reporting in the Northland, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. So education and school funding will be a big focus in this race. Arthur, by the way, a former teacher and Corlew served on the school board.